The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Welcome to Dose of Deanne, where you'll get a little shot of what my life was like living with SMA. My fellow SMAers are some of the most innovative people I know. Despite our physical limitations, we can come up with ways to get things done. So when I heard about this hack, I had to share it with you guys. I have trouble opening drawers, especially ones with those, like, I don't know what they're called, pocket handles. But I really have a hard time gripping them and pulling them open. So when I heard about using a ring pop socket to help out, I thought I have to try this. And I actually took it a step further and added a tug rope to it. This is out of paracord and my mom uh, just kind of uh, braided it for me. There's lots of different videos on YouTube showing you how. But I made this so my service dog can actually pull it open. If you don't have a service dog, don't worry about it, but a tug rope might come in handy to give you extra leverage. And if you make a loop on it, you might be able to snag it with your chair or your hand to make it a little bit easier. But it works for drawers and not only that, but other objects as well. Here I have an example of using it on my printer drawer. You might have a craft cart or a laundry basket, something like that. But here's an example of how it works for me. Horton tug. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Come on, keep going. Go, go, go. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop. Good job, yay, good boy. I really wasn't sure how sturdy the stickiness would be on those pop sockets, but as you can see, it held up pretty well. And I would recommend cleaning the surface with an alcohol wipe just to take off any residue and help it adhere a little better. But it worked really well for me. Now on this printer drawer, Prior to having a service dog, one way that I got it open was using a garden hook. It was like an S-shaped hook. And it was a little bit uh, clumsy to manage, but it worked. And then I also found a 3M cord bundler that I could attach a rope to, and that worked for a while as well. So just try some different creative solutions and find what works best for you. Now that the drawer is open, I can fill up my paper, add labels, but I still need to close it. Of course I could just push it shut with my feet, but what's the fun in that when you have a service dog, right? So here's him closing the drawer. Horton, push! Yeah, that's it! Yeah, there you go, that's it! Yeah, keep going, go, 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 go! Keep going! Keep going! Stop! Yay! Good job! Alright! For drawers with the pocket handles, I like to tuck the pop socket up underneath it so it's a little more inconspicuous, like this. Horton. Tug. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's it. There you go, that's it. Come on. Go, go, go. Keep going. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Stop. Good job. All right. Yay. There's nothing like the ultimate distraction of a cat, right? It didn't phase him, and he was able to shut the drawer as well. Push. All right. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Stop. Good job. Yay. I am slightly concerned what the pop socket will do to, like, the finish on furniture. That's why I like to tuck it under that pocket. However, sometimes it just doesn't work. Like on this drawer, it wouldn't stick to it. So I chose function over aesthetics, and I did adhere it to the outside of the drawer. Important tug. That's it. Yeah, that's it. There you go. That's it. Come on. Come on. 
Go, 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 go. Start. Good job. Yay! If you are worried about the finish on your furniture, one option might be the 3M cord bundler that I had referenced earlier. With the 3M adhesive, it has kind of that pull release tab that isn't supposed to damage any finishes. Um, so you might want to try that. I have that attached to the other drawer on that table, and it did fit underneath the pocket. I don't think there's many color options available, and it does have a tendency to become disconnected if you don't have it positioned correctly. So just be aware of that, but it is another option for you. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Start. Good job. And just so you don't think I have drawers open all over the house, here's him closing that drawer. Keep going. Start. Good job. So for under $5, you can make yourself a tug rope out of a ring pop socket and some paracord and use it on virtually anything. Like I said, I had fun using this with my service dog. His favorite command is tug, but you don't need a service dog to have it be beneficial for you. I want to thank whoever put it out there on social media where I saw it, and I hope you guys found it beneficial. If you have any other life hacks for me, send the ideas my way. It might just show up on a video. That's all I have for you guys today. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.